Oh, this is fantastic. This was just waiting for us. Like, hey, check out this great stuff. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are at the Goodwill again. We've been doing that a lot lately. Um, but we are at my local Goodwill, the one that is about 15 minutes from my house. You guys know the one. Every time I come here, I always remind you guys that it is hit or miss. Some days I have good days and other days not so good days. But we're going to see what we can find today. We're going to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. I just noticed these mugs here. And it's not something I've seen before, this pattern. It kind of reminds me of a puzzle that my mom used to put out every Christmas of all these people skating on ice. Um, it is signed Catherine. I can't really make out the last name. Hmm, I like them. I'm not sure. That's not something I recognize. What do we have here? Some wooden stuff. Um, alright, let's see here. I love looking through the ornament bags because sometimes you'll find vintage or older ornaments. It looks like there is an older one right here, but it's it's kind of plain. This one is nice. I hope they don't get broken. There's an older one in here as well. It's a big one. I'm half tempted to buy the bag just to save those ornaments because I don't want to see them broken. I mean, technically it's $2.99 for the entire bag. Um, in booths at antique malls, I usually see these selling for a buck fifty to two dollars a piece, sometimes three. So, what other ornaments do we have in there? The other ones are just kind of handmade, homemade things. But you know what? I will buy this. I will save those old ornaments and I will put them on my Christmas tree. I'm just gonna be careful not to pile anything on top of them. <laughs> Looks like somebody's trying to hide this. Well, at least she still has her wings. Snowdrop garnet left in. That is such a shame. She's lost her head. Honey roasted peanuts. This sure is an interesting uh, glass piece. Um, I'm not really sure. I kind of like the ombre of the orange to the purple. There's no signatures on the bottom. It kind of strikes me like something you would find at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. So uh, we will leave that one there. These little oh, they're bells. <laughs> Uh, they kind of reminded me of a Lennox uh, Santa ornament I picked up a while back. What is that made of? Oh, that's a resin. It's got a little fairy on it. It's $2.99. Oh, it's marked here. What does it say? Angel Star 2000. I like the fairy theme on that. Fairy stuff does fairly well for us. Um, so for $2.99, I, know, I know I can at least double my money on this with a fairy on it and it looks to be in good condition so we will stick that in here i've got some plates down here and this is kind of a deja vu moment like maybe we've looked at these before <laughs> it hasn't been that long since we were here the last time so we probably will be seeing stuff that we saw the last time all right i just rounded the corner and spotted this this is made in mexico I love the bright colors on it. It does have little holes. I'm not sure what the holes are for, but I really love how colorful that is. And there doesn't appear to be any damage on it. So I will stick that in here. How much was it? $2.99. Those are kind of cute little sailboats. There's two of them here, $1.99 and $1.99. I don't see any markings or anything on them, and they appear to be more contemporary. And here we have two fish. <laughs> two fish to go with the two sailboats. 
These jars are kind of nice. They're, they're a soft ceramic though, and that always makes me nervous. They probably chip very easily. Right, this, I'm not gonna buy this, but I just thought this was really adorable. Somebody made a horse. And I love the fabric, it's so vintage and fun. So, $3.99 on that. Miss the days when I could, you know, get something like this for my kids and it would be the best present in the whole world. But now it's all about video games and electronics. And it's kind of sad. <laughs> I've got another bag of ornaments here. This has some fun little wooden ornaments and I see a little mousy in there. Nothing that really excites me though. We have an abandoned cart. <laughs> And of course, I'm going to peek through it. Look at these. They look to be Amari. Ooh. They are Empress. Oh, Fitz and Floyd. There you go. We'll stick those in here. $4.99. And this. This is just fantastic. I think somebody made that, but I really love that. We'll stick that in here as well. Let's see what else we can find. I'm thinking that this could be something. Maybe if I can sneak it out of there. There we go. Um, this one is Camp Hair. <laughs> it is. It's marked Camp Hair. $1.99. We'll stick that in here. Let's see what else there is. Alright, I'm going to get this guy. I know. You are all looking at him. He is marked Made in Japan. I'm not sure what exactly he's supposed to be. Or is that um, <laughs> the Lady Gamp? I mean, I don't know. Serenade Gamp. There is a chip on it. I just don't know how many people would want little old men wall pockets. But for $2.99, <laughs> maybe it reminds somebody of their grandpa. I don't know. This plate, that one is Royal Worcester. No, I think that's Royal Worcester. It's got some ships and stuff on it. I like Royal Worcester. Oh, this is fantastic. This was just waiting for us. Like, hey, check out this great stuff. This looks like it's from India. I love the metal on that. That's just kind of a fun, that would be a great boho piece. Let's check this out. Is it marked on the bottom? Definitely crystal, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, there it is. Waterford. And um, there are some chips on the edge, unfortunately. It's $2.99. Maybe I'll grab that. Even with the chips. I'm not sure what pattern that is. It might be Lismore. I wonder if this is actually old. What are these? Ooh. Oh, those are those little creepy crawly things. $3.99. I've seen those sell. I actually have the baby thing open. It's kind of making me nervous. That's why i got to fix that when I'm done. Um, let's move this. Grab this. What is this? Italy. It's a little sheep. little sheep terrain. I'm basically clearing out their cart, I feel, I feel like. I could do all my shopping from right here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I really want to check this out and see what this is about. That might actually be vintage, and I really like that. Nice, uh, it looks like it's almost like a mercury glass. Nice decorative piece. Goodness gracious, all right, the snail. That's actually a candle. I didn't do very good on my last candle. <laughs> One of these. I think because of the shiny paint on the bottom, this is probably a reproduction. Um, shoot or boot, whatever, take her off her thingy. That is a scale. That could be an old advertising piece. Stick that in here. And 
And um, I really like that scarab down here. I don't know, it kind of gives me Egyptian revival vibes. I think it's maybe just made of soapstone, but he's neat. And then this rattle. I don't know if that's actually vintage. It could also be a knife rust, but the fact that it has the bells in there makes me think more of a rattle. I'm not really that excited about that collector's plate. Alright, the last thing we really have in here is this. That's Japanese bookends. And this metal piece. Mm, not sure about that either. So, alright. Make sure this isn't silver. <laughs> Honoring your services. Alright, it's personalized. So there we go. Now back to the aisles. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe at first that was a painting, but I can see now that it is a print. Occasionally I will pick up prints, but... Um, they have to be extra special. Crackers. Oh yeah, I love these guys. I've actually had a smaller version of these before. These are Otagiri. You can see the sticker there on the bottom. That's an Otagiri sticker. I had a smaller one, so I almost wonder if they came in a set of three and we've got two of them. I can't tell if she's made out of resin or wood. I think I'm actually going to break the rules and peel the sticker to check. Alright, well it says 2013 Easter, so I think this was probably a gift to somebody. I do think it's resin though. I prefer um, carved wooden items to resin. Um, that's just a preference. I think I'm going to put this back. Here on the corner, I noticed these guys. I think that these are Westmoreland. I think. We've got two satin glass owls. Unfortunately, one of them is broken. And now the blue one's the one I'd be more excited about. It's a pewter. I do have a marking on them, too. And I like that uh, ceramic, I think it is. I don't know if those are coasters or what those are, but they're $3.99. I'll have to decipher that marking up there. But they do feel like pewter. Well, I'm here earlier than I normally get here, so I guess it pays to get here early. <laughs> We've got this. What is this? That is, I feel like that is cement made to look like wood. It is extremely heavy. You can see there, there is damage to the beak that has been repaired. What do we have here? I like the imprints of all the critters on there. So we've got a few more aisles left to go. <laughs> and we already almost filled our cart. This is exciting. That's kind of a fun umbrella handle. It looks like a duck. You can see, unfortunately, his eye is really damaged. I've got a doll down here. I wonder if she's celluloid. Can't really tell. I think her face is cast, but the rest of her is probably handmade. Here's a fun tree. I've actually bought and sold these in the past. I think they're called money trees, I think is what my viewers told me. I had never heard of those before. I thought it was a neat piece, but mine was musical and it spun. We've got two bookends here. They are carved wood. Taking a siesta. I'm going to make sure they're together there on the shelf. <laughs> right after I said, you know, my last candle didn't do that good. Of course I would come across this guy made in Italy for Hesse's. He is fantastic and he reminds me of Italian pottery with all those colors and the st style of it. He's, he's great with all of his colors. Um, so we're going to stick him in there. And how much was he? $1.99. I guess somebody donated their owl collection. This one is marked on the bottom. 
I almost wonder, I think it might say Christmas, like it was a gift. This one's kind of heavy. Not sure what that's made out of. But this one is $4.99. I think I'm going to leave that one behind because I don't know the maker of it. <laughs> that's a deja vu moment. I feel like we looked at that the last time. Got some appetizer plates with a single cup. A lot of the times when we find this and they're hand painted Limoges or something to that effect, they do really well for us, but these ones are just a peach luster and they're kind of plain. I just rounded the corner <laughs> and saw this little guy for $2.99, surprisingly. Oh, nope, there it is. It doesn't look broken, but it is. That's a shame because he is a cool snail for $2.99. I was actually looking at his tail expecting that to be broken, but yep, we've got a boo-boo there. That's a bummer. All right. Well, we are now looking through glassware and cookware. We found that Waterford in the bin, so I'm wondering if we might find some more of it here on the shelves. And right now, before the holidays, is a wonderful time to be selling it. Um, and it's usually etched on the bottom. Those are just marked France. Right, so I've checked a lot of these glasses. I'm not really seeing much remarks on them. I like the glaze on that, that marbled glaze. It's a really heavy piece, but I think it might be a hobbyist piece. Westmoreland little jewel box, $1.99. Got the jewel box. This is an old piece. You can see the marking there on the bottom, the date code. Unfortunately, it's got a chip and a crack. It does have a nice red transfer on that. All right, so I just ran into somebody here who watches my videos and she was showing me the stuff in her cart and she found this and it's so cool. It's like a solar system on a pedestal. That is just amazing. So she let me film it. $1.99, that is great. This is really neat. It looks like it's made maybe of a celluloid. And it was sitting there on the end cap. I'm not sure if what that M stands for. I'm pretty sure that's an M. Maybe it's old Mary Kay, I don't know. But there's no damage to it. I mean, there's a little oxidation. That's a really sweet little uh, vintage makeup piece. It is $4.99, which is a little bit high, I feel like, but um, it could also be a really good piece, so I'm going to take that with me for $4.99. And my Christmas ornaments survived, so I think we're going to head up to the checkout now and see what the damage is. Okay, well our total spend there at the Goodwill was $72.00. I feel like that was pretty good. I feel like we got some really good stuff. Um, I'm really excited about those Otigiri owls. Those were great. Um, the Waterford was exciting. I just wish that it didn't have the little flea bites on the edge, but somebody may be interested in it. Um, and I figured, you know what, for that price, we'll give it a shot. Um, the, can the owl candle, another of my favorites. I'm tempted to hoard it, but at the same time, I'm trying to thin out some of my collection. Um, so I don't need anything new, really, unless I walk in here and I find a beautiful Hager winking cat in orange. I mean, that's at the top of my list right now, but um, I am at Lemoyne. I'm going to head in. So I'm going to leave you guys here and we'll pick up here tomorrow, possibly. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.